So guys, this kiln project has turned into one of those projects that you work on it and work on it for weeks and months, and then all of a sudden you wake up and it's almost done. And that's kind of the point where we're at right now. A couple of weeks ago, we were able to get the rest of the roof on this thing. Last week, my dad came over and we got the doors on it. So we've got an almost sealed kiln. There's a few more boards that have to go on the top of the back, just two more boards actually, and that'll be finished as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the fans in it and check these doors out before we do anything else. This, uh, these doors, uh, this was kind of my dad's idea. I was just gonna have a regular swing out door, but he suggested that we put these as ramps since they were so heavy. And I thought that it was a good idea. I think that'll uh, assist with some, uh, some ease of loading this thing. And I've got some raking and shoveling to do to get that ground level out there. But besides that, I think that's gonna be great. I've got a ramp on both sides and uh, I think that's really cool. But anyway, what we're gonna do is, well, my goal this week is to get some lumber, lumber in this thing uh, starting to dry. So what we have to do and what we're gonna work on today is we're gonna get that last board on the back wall on the top and then we're gonna build a framework for the fans. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a framework of four, uh, no, sorry, we're gonna put a framework of one by fours uh, 10 inches away from the back wall to account for a 10 inch uh, space or dead space behind the fans for air to circulate behind the fans and some of y'all might disagree with me on this and if you do that's fine um, because I may end up having to go back and change this in the future because I realize it may not work but I'm only going to put two fans in here and the reason that I'm going to put two fans in here one over there and one over here is because the original design that I kind of based this one off of is a 10 foot wide kiln this is a 20 foot wide kiln and he had only one fan in his 10 foot kiln and if one stack of lumber in a 10 foot kiln can dry just fine with one fan I don't see any reason why a 20 foot kiln can't dry two stacks of lumber with two fans so we're gonna do that and like I said if it doesn't work out that's okay we can always come back and uh, update it in the future it's really not that serious but we're gonna try two fans first and see how that works on these stacks of lumber and uh, and we're going to go from there so uh, let's go ahead and get started and see how much we can get done like i said my goal for this week is to uh is to get some green lumber in this thing and uh see how well this thing dries it out and what i'm going to do is after that we'll start working on the shed for this back portion but we've got a couple of boards that need to go on the top of this back wall and after that we'll get the fans in here and get some electricity in there and some vents on the back and uh, we'll go from there. So guys, here's what we're gonna use to circulate air through the kiln here. This is just a cheap 
Lasco brand fan, box fan from Lowe's. Nothing special about it at all. It's a, uh, what is it, something like 1,700 cubic feet per minute. Sounds right. But I think it's a three-speed fan, and I think they cost about $17 a piece. So, you know, there's really nothing special about this at all. But I think it would get done what we need it to get done here for the purpose of this kiln and you know the advantage of this is you know yeah it's a cheap fan but the advantage of it is that you know once it dies when it goes out on me it only cost me $17 to replace so that's kind of the way that I look at it I could buy a more expensive fan and it will last eventually you know it'll eventually die as well and it'll cost me more to replace but I really think that this fan right here is gonna do a gonna do a fine job. I see these a lot where I work, and they do put out a lot of air. And uh, I, th I think this would be just fine. So, uh, oh, and it's got a metal case on it on the outside. I didn't realize that. That's good. That's good. It's got a it's got three speeds on it, and uh, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Seventeen bucks a piece. Let's see if we can get these installed. So here's something that I probably should have given a little more thought to. It is, uh, actually that just came down from 101. Uh, it's currently 99 degrees in this kiln. It's roughly 70 degrees outside and, uh, and I'm working in here. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's warm, but you know, that's encouraging. It tells me it's working out pretty good so far. So here's what we've got so far. Um, all of the uh, upright framing pieces for that for the fans on the back are up. As you can see, that middle piece right there uh, had a really poor foundation to be nailed onto. So uh, we're just going to brace it. Well, they all need to be braced anyway, but we'll fix that later on. Uh, I guess I should have said that temperature was with both of the doors of this kiln open. So what I'm going to do is I'm about to go eat lunch, and I'm going to just see. I'm gonna go ahead and close these doors and see what the temperature is after lunch. All right guys, so it's after lunch now. This thing has been closed up for uh, 15, 20 minutes, I'm not sure. Let's get in here and check and uh, see what the temperature has done. Oh my gosh, it's hot in here. It'll focus. I can't get it to focus. Anyway, it's uh, 112 degrees in here. 112. That's <laughs> that's without any black on the walls. That's with nothing at all. And um, temperature outside is only 69 degrees. It's 112 in here. You're looking at a 42, 43, 43 degree increase from the outside. I. <laughs> Oh, sorry, it's 113 now. I believe that'll dry wood.
I'm just adding some of these little brace pieces on to the backs of some of these little upright pieces and essentially all that is is to make sure the distance is the proper distance from the back of these fans to the back wall and uh, also to give this scaffolding a little more support. Ideally you want a about a 10 inch dead space behind your fans and uh, that is that's what I'm going for here. Unfortunately uh, it's not it can be exactly 10 inches everywhere, but you know it's not. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. So guys, that's going to do it for this video. I really appreciate y'all watching this. Next time, we're going to get some tarp up to create that barrier between the kiln and the dead space to get that air forced through the stack of lumber. If you haven't done it already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time. first guys